Chapter 7 Cascading Style Sheets Learning Outcomes At the end of this chapter, students will be able to comprehend the significance of CSS in the web development. Learn the advantages of CSS. Know the style tables, list, text and add images using CSS. Warm up. Write 5 lines on HTML. Teachers note. Elucidate students that in this chapter we will learn to style the HTML tags using CSS. Hello friends. In this chapter we will learn about CSS. The HTML tags are styled using the style sheet language CSS. In basic terms, it's a language designed to improve the functionality of HTML tags. When you wish to add uniform styling to all of a website's web pages, CSS comes in handy. All you need to do to complete this work is specify the font style and background color in a CSS style sheet using CSS code, then call the style sheet in each web page. Let me answer what is the full form of CSS. Advantages of using CSS code Pages load faster. A CSS style sheet code needs to be written once. It means the actual code a browser has to work on is less. The page will download more quickly if there is less code. CSS saves time. With CSS, a tag style only needs to be defined once. Thereafter, if you use the tag at any place on the web page, styling will be done automatically. Easy maintenance. You only need to make modifications to the style sheet if you wish to alter the styling of a specific tab. Superior style to HTML. CSS was built for styles. HTML was not. While browsers usually display HTML elements in a certain way, you can override this with CSS. Before we learn how to write CSS code, let's take a look at the code. Some part of the above given code may look similar to you. In the above code, we can see some lines of HTML code. The code enclosed within the curly braces and the CSS code. CSS syntax like all other languages, CSS has a syntax of its own. In the past, we discovered that syntax is a set of guidelines used when writing code in a certain language. Let me answer. Can you think of one more advantage of using CSS? CSS elements. A CSS code consists of three important tags, the selector, property and the values. Selector. A selector is any HTML element that need to be styled. Tags like P, HL, Title, etc. can be formatted using CSS. Property. The properties of CSS are like HTML attributes. The output of an HTML element can be modified by attributes. For example, color, size, border, height, weight are all examples of attribute. Value. Values are assigned to CSS properties. Do you know the first version of CSS was invented in 1996? Let's create our first CSS code. To alter a paragraph's background color, use the following code. CSS font. The text font style can be altered with this property. In CSS, changing the font style can be done in one of three different ways. By only entering a color's name as a value. Additionally, you can utilize predetermined hexadecimal color values. Use the RGB color code. Remember it. Hakon Viom Lai proposed the idea of CSS. The following code displays three different ways of changing font style. CSS font face. The text font face can be changed with this property. Since this property might hold multiple font names. The values are separated by commas. There are two types of font family names in CSS which are defined below. Family name. It is the name of a family of fonts that includes Arial, Times, etc. Generic family. It is the name of the generic family that includes five categories which are Serif, Sans Serif, Cursive, 
fantasy and mono space it should be placed at last in the list of the font family names the following code shows how the font family property can be used to define font style for text css background image a website style is greatly influenced by the images on it improve a web page aesthetic appeal and aid our viewers in better comprehending the concept some types we want to upload a lovely image to the website we can use the background's image attribute to add a background picture to the web page syntax background image url image name css list a list is a wonderful tool that helps in organizing data this list can be ordered or unordered an unordered list displays the list item arranged in an ordered manner and the unordered list displays the list items in an unordered form new delhi mumbai chennai kolkata patna jaipur jammu the css property to style the list are given below list style type this property is responsible for controlling the appearance and shape of the bullet list style image it sets an image for the bullet instead of the number or a bullet point list style position it specifies the position on the bullet list style it is the shorthand property of all of the above property css tables tables assist us in organizing the information to be presented let's examine how css can be used to enhance a table's visual appeal some css properties are widely used in designing table using css border border collapse text align color background color padding width height css table padding get iq for her tea business ravisha is building a website she has a list that she created with the names of several tea varieties she wants to utilize picture as listed below provide ravisha with a css property that she can use to make bullets with images let's recall the html tag are styled using the style sheet language css the page will download more quickly if there is less code the text font style can be altered with css font property we can use the background image attribute to add a background picture to the web page tables assist us in organizing the information to be presented upskill your intelligence a fill in the blanks one the html tags are style using the style sheet language dash answer css two css stands for answer cascading style sheet three a tag style only needs to be defined dash answer once four css has a dash of its own answer syntax five the properties of css are like dash attributes answer html b answer in one word one the property used to define the font face of the text in css answer css font face two any html elements that need to be styled answer selector Three. Which color code can be used to change font style in CSS? Answer: RGB color code. Four. Arial times are included in this. Answer: CSS font face family name. Five. Syntax for the background images in CSS. Answer: Background images URL image name. C. Answer the following question. One. How does CSS load the page faster? Answer: As CSS style sheet code needs to be written once, it means the actual code a browser has to work on is less. The page will download more quickly if there is less code. Two. What is CSS syntax? Answer: Like all other languages, CSS has a syntax of its own. The syntax is a set of guidelines used when writing code in a certain language. Example: H1 color, 
yellow point size 11 pixels 3 explain the elements of css answer a css code consists of three important elements selector the help of css font and the text font style can be altered 4 write about css font answer in css changing the font style can be done in one of three different ways one by only entering a color's name as a value two you can utilize predetermined hexadecimal color values 3. Use the RGB color code 5. Brief about two types of font family names in CSS Answer: There are two types of font family names in CSS which are defined below Family name It is the name of a family of fonts that includes Arial, Times, etc. Generic family It is the name of the generic family that includes five categories which are serif sans serif, cursive, fantasy, and monospace. Critical thinking Using CSS and HTML table properties, create the following table. Answer Ask students to do it by themselves. Team Work Work in pairs Visit the following site and write down the properties in the space provided. Answer Ask students to do it by themselves.